Hello everyone, my name is Luki Lydrick and I'm in the Art Now Art Gallery at Raffles Hotel in Singapore. And with me is a man that you might not know, but you have seen his beautiful artworks and graphics all over the place, right? As in Singapore specifically, you know, you've seen Singtel, Singpos, uh, the Singapore Zoo, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, lots, everywhere, everywhere. The Singapore Tourism Board has featured him many times, uh, as well as on Le Sports Up, you know, his, his graphics are everywhere. And they're so adorable in Kawaii. But yet, some of you might not know the man and the creator and the artist behind all these Kawaii images. And so I'm very proud and honored to have uh, Simone Legno here with me in Singapore. And Simone, thank you for coming onto my talk show and speaking to my, my fans and audience. Could you uh, tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Those who do not know you, tell them about your history and how all of this began. Hello everybody, thank you very much for uh, giving a little bit of voice to me. And um, yeah, is, I started Toyogi when I was still a design student. And, uh, uh, I chose the word Togi Logi because uh, I wanted to use a Japanese word because I love Japan and uh, I've been there like 62 times. And, uh, 62 I, I, times! At, at the end, like, uh, yeah. I established my company in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. so that's where I have my home and uh, actually I live in a Japanese neighborhood, but I'm with my family now in Japan, so I live in Japan. And uh, everything started uh, back in Italy, uh, doing uh, mixing up uh, a little bit like when you see like the traditional like let's say Toyogi girl she's a, an expression a modern version of the um, Japanese uh, wood prints uh, type of geishas like very bidimensional very elegant and then I mix it up with the world of uh, cute uh, and uh, the characters that you can see a bit everywhere in the pop culture and uh, then I mix it up with uh, so many uh, street culture um, things that I appreciate around and street art and uh, the fact that I was, you know, there is a lot of, like, let's say, of even more uh, rebel rock and roll icons in my world. Uh, you know, I was 10 years, more than 10 years in a punk rock band. So <laughs> you? Yeah, that there was, that, that's why you see, like, yes. some skulls, yes. uh, some flashes, some tattoos. Yeah. That the type of culture it comes from. Uh, that. So it's a mix of street uh, and cute uh, and uh, fashion and design uh, and international. Um, Mixed up right. Speaking of tattoos, do you personally have any? No, no, because uh, I'm, I'm extremely particular. You need to see like my yeah. art. I always yes. like, look for the best of the best. I'm never happy about what I do. Always want to bring things to the next, next level. level. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and then you know, just years started to pass, and I realized that even if I grew up into this punk rock community, my friends were had like their own. Uh, uh, tattoo machines and doing each other's body yeah. piercing type of things. Um, I, I, I never felt that I always felt if I do it, I have to do a huge project on me, mm -hmm. and uh, just I just live like chasing the carrot, and I don't have time to think about such a majestic project like uh, to have a tattoo. So that, that's why I don't have it. Yeah. So these are your tattoos, the tattoos. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Correct. Right, yeah. It's, it's yeah. just my, my collection. Like to accomplish things is like. Uh, what I think makes me feel uh, well, well said, well said. Life, because yes. you know, most artists and graphic designers they love tattoos, and you can see a lot of the women that you draw have tattoos, and then it's really a way of you uh, expressing yourself and not ne necessarily having it to put in your body anymore. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. plus I'm surrounded. Mm -hmm. Just I think you might imagine what is my studio, my home, uh, my home in LA, my office in LA. It's like Toki Doki everywhere. Like right. <laughs> speaking of Toki Doki, it's such a cute word, and it means sometimes in Japanese. But what specifically is word? What is it? What? What? How is the connotation and connection with your art? Yeah. So basically, like, uh, yeah, as you, I think you said in your question, like, Doki Doki sounds nice. Yeah. Sounds, cute, sounds nice. nice. Yeah. And uh, but it really was uh, the fruit. Of, it was not started as a brand. It started as my personal website as a young graphic designer fresh from design school. And then uh, I chose the word Toyo, you just mean sometimes. Mm. And, uh, so my, I, I wrote like this, you know, these five lines of, uh, on the website, it's Toyo, you mean sometimes in Japanese, because sometimes dreams come true. I really hope that you would see, uh, you know, um, this website, you would see my work, and uh, my life will change. And it was still the time that in the world, the internet started, but the world was like still like looked bigger than now. So like, for example, uh, to connect, uh, you know, to have sometimes moments with people from all over the world and having some contacts, uh, meeting new people that could change your destiny from a friendly point of view, from a business point of view, 
was really what I wanted to accomplish with Dolly Doggy. So sometimes dreams come true, and I, I would say all my dreams, uh, I mean, we keep on building dreams while we grow up, but uh, my main dreams are all come true, so I'm very happy. Right. Also. Serendipitously, I know, I also chance upon your artwork. So you know, it's a my Doggy Doggy was my sometimes. And I actually carried a lot of your designs on my t-shirt store for UIT, and they always sell out. They're really extremely popular and had the first range of your t-shirt designs as you as you keep them. And you know, so you have so many characters over the years. You've got Donatella, you have uh, mozzarella, right, the cactus girl Sandy, uh, the uh, adios, and, and so which one would be your favorite character and why? Um, you know, it's extremely hard though. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, uh, I think I have uh, quite uh, multiple personalities, you know, like, <laughs> there is some things that um, I like, uh, you know, that are very cute, mm -hmm. so um, I really love, for example, like when I think Doggy Doggy, the first image comes in my head is a Sandy, is a cactus girl. Yes, a cactus girl. So the idea is now the kids are pure like water, and then there is this cactus that protects them from the bad things you see around. Um, but you know, and then you know, like say, like my more uh, let's say masculine pers part of the personality is uh, you know more like in the tiger, salary man I call it. It's a uh, you know, chic uh, tiger, and tiger is my favorite animal. You know, I love. Uh, oh, you want a neo tiger? Huh? No, unfortunately you? not. <laughs> I wish I could get some ancient tiger. And, yeah, and uh, no, I, it's because it's a it, you know I love cats, and it's mm. uh, it's just a. Uh, Sort of a upgrade of a cat. It's very, yeah, it's very elegant and very strong at the same time, and uh, that's one of the characters I love. And of course, like the, now, like all over the world, our like um, let's say our Hello Kitty for our company is uh, the uniforms. Like we really, uh, you know, produce millions of pieces in different products, licensed or self-produced, and uh, it's really becoming uh, you know the heartbreaker that we have around the world, and uh, it's very. Grateful and very, um, I feel very when I see the union, I feel that's my yeah, my spirit yeah. animal. Yes, yes, that's my animal. Yes. Well, this is uh, your first time back to beautiful Singapore since the pandemic, and you know, um, what what is your favorite thing here in Singapore? Uh, I cut out the people because it's just <laughs> the first one thing thing is that I came here like 25, 30 mm -hmm. times and. I built up uh, very solid friendships here, and uh, uh, so taking out like my romantic <laughs> uh, feeling towards people here in Singapore, I really um, love the city for many things. Like uh, I think as a it's a perfect melting pot. I really think it's a there's a unique uh, small country where so many cultures, mm. so many. People from different countries will really like mix up perfectly, coexist perfectly. Um, it's a very there is still tradition, but it's extremely dynamic and extremely futuristic type of place. I've seen like changing it in the last 15, 20 years, uh, growing so fast. So it's a uh, um, yeah, it, 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 it's it's rich of things going on. And I feel this energy when I come here. I feel very energized, but at the same time, I feel the last sentence I said. Well, 10 minutes ago was like I feel so relaxed in Singapore because there is still like this sort of a, um, relaxing energy here. Yeah. Well, we welcome you back, right? We miss you here. And you know, could you tell the audience what's this exhibition about, this kawaii impressionism? Um, yeah, like you have Toyo is popular and my artwork is popular for this like uh, you know, characters and three dimensional art, but uh, um, like to, to having an art show that's all like uh, let's say hand painted, mm -hmm. um, it, it's like showing different corner to Singapore people and other people that come in town. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's like a way more texturous and much more let's say uh, human felt type of um, way of doing art. Because it's like yeah, I call it how I do it because I'm European and yes. I grew up loving. Uh, you know, like the classic uh, um, modern art. I love impressionism. It's my favorite type of style. And uh, in general, like when people like paint characters, they do it like very super flat, you know, super three dimensional, almost like a, like out of a printer. And so I wanted to apply like a more uh, uh, more painterly style. Yeah, yeah, I can see yeah like see a the more strokes. like let's say like yeah, like different type of yeah. strokes and. It's three dimensional as well. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just uh, I'm gonna start my European mm. blood with uh, you know my love of work. Well, this is very. I feel like I can. This is very unique medium because normally you see his works on print, you know, computer print or right, right. illustration. Okay. Also, finally, uh, could you tell the audience what's upcoming for you in terms of you know it's almost your year of career spanning two decades and is there a museum uh, retrospective of your work coming out or how about an animated feature film or you know more exhibitions like this? What's coming up for you in the Tokyo hey, right? Yeah, I have uh, you know as, uh, as I was saying before, like uh, I yeah, Tokyo keep on growing and there is. Exactly. We, we keep on expanding in as many mm -hmm. places as uh, we can. So, um, like yeah, you just mentioned, animation. I'm working. One of the major things I'm doing. I'm working on an animation series. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's something that really. Yeah. yeah. I wrote personally like the beginning of the story. Then I work with the classic the editors and the writers uh, to develop the story. And then uh, I will continue to paint. I already have other. Uh, things planned here actually for Singapore, and um, and then I just keep on growing the brand. We keep on uh, uh, busy. Sorry, we got distracted by my Singaporean best friend that I was mentioning before. <laughs> yeah, like uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, so I just I just keep on going, and I'm very happy. I went back to cosmetics, which is a category I really love beauty because as you see, like I I paid for this for many years, and for me, like the category of beauty is something. I really I was missing very much. We did a collaboration with Bobby Brown that you can actually find here in Singapore as well. And uh, yeah, and let's just keep on going. But the painting is something that I, I really will continue for her. Now it's the beginning of something that it's a new new page of my career. And I found uh, living in Japan like a, a way of living that uh, allows me after let's say after this lunch, let's say like when my Los Angeles team goes to sleep, I can. Focus uh, almost on the painting. So. All right, congratulations. <laughs> and to business yeah. in China. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for uh, talking to me and talking to my fans. And we look forward to more exciting projects for you. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be placing all his links below under my video description. Feed. All right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.